Stay. Stay with me. Mm. Stay with me. Is the But okay, okay. Um, hi guys. <laughs> Welcome to our first ever vlog channel. Hey. hey, I'm Jessica and I'm Kenzie. And we're not gonna lie, we originally planned on starting a podcast after seeing Color Daddy girls kind yeah. of like succeed, crash, fail, succeed yeah. again. Um, but we realized the podcast life is not for us, and we no, got a visual. Yeah. So we also need to be moving around and doing things. Yeah. Enjoy. Fourth, we made drinks beforehand. We did. Um, which, speaking of, if you guys want to pause here in the description, we're gonna put the recipe to the drinks we made. I think they're pretty good. Uh, and then you can make them and then follow along. We're gonna put in a clip to show you how we made it. But if you're organized like us and want to see the ingredients beforehand, it's gonna be in the next slide. Yep. Save. We can make our drinks for <laughs> natural. Okay, so you feel more natural in a banana. banana. Okay, <laughs> that was just like really aggressive. I'm questioning. I like took a bite into it and like directly into <laughs> the eye got All right. All right. So we are making this berry mm -hmm. spritz with vodka. You can also probably do it without vodka if you're mm -hmm. not aggressive. We're making two drinks. So we're starting off with four raspberries and two like medium size. Um, strawberries, I'll muddle that and then Kenzie will continue to eat her <laughs> banana. <laughs> and then I guess you can, um, what did we get? We got a blackberry preserve, but yeah. I'm sure you can do like whatever. Flavor. Yeah, you can probably do whatever you want. I think this would also be like a really good non alcoholic beverage because you don't have to add vodka to it. Yeah, and I'm sure also like. If you guys don't like vodka, you could probably do something else. You could do tequila, and I think that maybe do an orange. Ooh. Yeah, an orange good. would be good. Muddling is also a little bit hard when you don't have a muddler. <laughs> this is a rice scooper. Yeah. <laughs> but we're making do with what we have right now. Kenzie just moved into this apartment when... Oh my god. you eat your banana. Yeah. <laughs> right. September? Yeah, September 1st. Damn. So we've been in here for a month now. Okay, I think that's, I think that's muddled enough. That looks good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can mix that up. And then I guess I'm just gonna do a scoop. We all do a scoop each. I'm grabbing the vodka. Oh, we should probably grab the ice too. Oh my god. <laughs> we didn't set up the ice. We totally no, we have two cubes. <laughs> We might have to do ice off camera, but it's fine. So this is it thus far. Um, what else? Is that a tea? That's a teaspoon. This is the preserves we're using. Oh, it's oh. not gonna focus. There you go. Um, so we do a teaspoon of this. We're gonna write this in the description box so you guys can, if you want to drink with us, <laughs> we'll do it. And should we show these? So this is a honey water mixture. I'm gonna let you explain how to make that. I mean, it said what you're supposed to do one fourth honey with one fourth hot water, but we only did a tablespoon of honey and a tablespoon of hot water just cause, I mean, it's yeah, just already so sweet already with all the various fruits that we added and the preserved blueberries. So I think like one tablespoon of honey and water is fine. Yeah. It actually looks so nice. Yeah, it does. We need to make sure we don't get it like drip on the side so it doesn't look ugly. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. And then I think we did when we did it, we did a tester before. So we did two lemons. I think that might be two. So uh, did you like it? I liked, I liked a it. I like a lot All of right. citrus. So consensus is do one lemon slice, but if you like acidic drinks, um, is that the right word? Acidic? Yeah. Acidic drinks, you can do two lemon slices. It's squeeze of lemon. I'm gonna do mine down here because I'm That's not that I appreciate the visuals. <laughs> Squeezing lemons reminds me of getting oysters. I know. We should do it. We should try to do like a oyster shucking video. <laughs> Ooh. It sounds dangerous. One of us will probably cut ourselves. I, I'm gonna... I did not wipe that on my leg. I didn't <laughs> see anything. Okay. I think this is a good time to pop in some ice too. Uh, oh. 
perfect. Actually, I don't know how I did that. Oh wait, you got one. <laughs> this is actually okay, good. There it is. So those are ice. And then I'll let okay. you go on vodka duty. You right? want me to do vodka? Yeah. So the recipe calls for I think it was two ounces of vodka, but we're just gonna eyeball probably like a shot. Okay, we got it. You got it? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, what time is it? We're not going to talk about that. Yeah, it's kind of early. Um, <laughs> it's fun. We had food somewhere. today, though. And, um, yeah, vodka, pour to your preference or pour whatever alcohol you want. Two shots of vodka. <laughs> Two shots of vodka. <laughs> That's good. Perfect. And then you just top it off with a sparkling seltzer water. We went with this like raspberry flavored one. Um, I know a lot of people use that like bougie bubbly brand, which is great. Bubbly, if you want to sponsor us for the next but video. But if you're a bitch on a budget, you can bleep that out. I don't know how younger audiences. You can do off brand like um, this. I don't know if you can use that. Just to the top. Put that down because I can't pour. And then we'll just, oh, that's really good. That actually looks really cute. We did a decent job. Here, we'll grab a teaspoon. Yeah. That's probably more responsible then. And give it a good mix. You said mix, 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 mix. And then um, you can probably garnish it with like a lemon, but we went with rosemary. So should we do it? And you just pop it in like, like that inside, right? And then you got yourself a festive. Um, this would probably be a great like holiday drink. Honestly, yeah. Cheers. Plain thing. Let's do. Mm. It's really good. It's just right. the fruit at the top. I almost choked. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You can probably model it better. I kind of like the fruit. It makes me feel healthy. Yeah, no, I like it. And you can't taste the vodka at all. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, we're going to go back to the couch and answer the questions now. Mm -hmm. okay, so mm -hmm. we have our drinks now, and we're going to be extra careful because otherwise we'll be in big trouble. <laughs> yeah, this is a great couch, so. And it was a little pricey, so. It's really good, though. Yeah. Um, so I guess we're going to go straight into the questions. I have them all on my phone um, and a text message from Kenzie because she found a lot of these. Mm. So first off, when and how did you meet? I'll let you take that one because I want to sip on this. Okay. So funny story. Like <laughs> I had just moved to the city. I think that was three years ago and I didn't know anybody. So I decided to download Bumble. Bumble BFF. <laughs> and <laughs> difference. <laughs> met like a lot of women on there and it was like really hit or miss and met like i can't i mean we won't talk about her but i met a lot of crazy <laughs> women and then finally i got really lucky and i found jessica so Yay. it's just kind of been a love affair since then i know and then for the how we actually have rings which mine's in my back now because i slept over and i took off my jewelry but we met February yes. 25th since the 25 mm -hmm. in 2018, I think. What? When, oh, the when year we met? met? Yeah. yeah. Right? So 2018, um, kind of similar story on my end. I was just kind of like depressed with work and I realized I sat at the office all day long and I had no friends and I was like, I need a social life. <laughs> yeah. And I remember like pulling up your profile on my phone and being like, mom, does she look normal? And my mom <laughs> really liked you from the start. And I was like, okay, I Thank got a friend. God. I got a friend. It's hard to get approval from a Polish mother. And I got the sealed approval. Who can really? Yeah. <laughs> dilly dilly. <laughs> dilly dilly. All right, number two. What was your first impression of one another? Um, okay, it was just so funny because we, so we were, um, I was with another we girl. Bar, right? Well, it was just funny because I was when we were, there. that's a side story. And I was, <laughs> um, I think we started, we started messaging, it was like later in the evening. I was like, yeah. oh, I'm actually like, out with another girl that I met from Bumble BFF, you should come meet up and grab drinks with us. And 
So I guess like my very first impression of you was like, okay, obviously like you're very beautiful. And then also you dress <laughs> so well. Like Thank I still you. remember the jacket you wear. It was like that black jean jacket with like oh the, it was like frayed. And then was it had- the locals only jacket? And it had the writing on the back, yeah. bright orange. Yeah, and I was like, oh, oh this girl's God. so cool. Yeah. Oh my god. See, I can't remember stuff like that. Like, I, I cannot can't. remember. Actually, I do remember what you wore because I thought it was so cute. And I was like, oh my god, she's so preppy. And like, <laughs> which that's nothing like Wait, you at all. I don't dress like that at all anymore. That you was had like thigh high boots and a short skirt. I was wearing like, a, a plaid skirt. skirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, she's so preppy. Like, <laughs> I might not be friends with her because yeah. that's a little preppy. But then it turns We're out like. We're both like tomboys. This yeah. How we dress. I mean, this is actually very accessorized and like a little too much <laughs> for me, but. I mean, well, yeah, I guess our first impression of each other was, like, overall good. Stylish, like, stylish. Cool. Yeah. Low-key, like, yeah, easy to get, like, get along with. Have a conversation with. Yeah, definitely. It wasn't high-maintenance, yeah, yeah. which was, like, the girl. I guess we could do, like, a whole video. All right. Number three, describe each other in one word. Oh, that's so difficult. <laughs> I feel like... Okay, think of a word in your head and we'll say on three. So okay. it's not like. Wait, are we gonna count down three, two, one, or one, two? Let's do three, three two, two, one. Say the word. Okay, so, okay, ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Happiness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I'll explain. Yeah, Jessica's let's... just like one of the kindest like women that I've met. No, I mean that like wholeheartedly. She just like gives and expects like nothing in, like, in return. She's like one of the most like thoughtful, like caring, kind people I've ever met. I remember one day, like I had a horrible day at work and I think I had just started my period, <laughs> but I, we, we were supposed to meet up. I was like, I can't meet up. I'm just like having one of those days. You're like, I totally get it. And this girl sent me a box of cookies. Hey, I started crying. crying I like was like, I switched from like sad tears to really happy tears. <laughs> and I just felt Aww. so thankful. Yeah, I mean, for me, I guess like happiness is like, this is one of the first very genuine female friendships I've ever had. And I feel like mm -hmm. if you're a girl, you'll definitely understand what that means. Yeah. And, um, especially living in such a big city or like having friends in a big city, it's hard to find those connections that feel like yeah. you've known each other for a while. And happiness just like whenever I see Kenzie, like she makes <laughs> yeah. every bad situation into a good one. Or it's like, if you're feeling down, she'll find a solution or like she'll send you some kind of random like text or <laughs> recommendation. Like you just make people feel happy. Like oh, everyone loves true. being around you. And it's like not only me saying it, like if you met any of our friends, you'd Aww. be like, everyone loves being around Kenzie. We feel, I feel blessed. We're not lucky, we're blessed. blessed. Yes. yes. What's your favorite memory together? <laughs> well, I feel like four and five kind of <sighs> go hand in hand. <laughs> because favorite memory... I, I agree. Like, okay, so should we answer those together? Yeah, so number four is, what's your favorite memory together? And number five is, have you traveled anywhere together? <laughs> I feel like this could be another video too, where we talk about our Tulum trip. Okay, but, but answer getting the question. question. <laughs> yeah. Favorite trip? Or no, that's number five. So favorite four. memory. Favorite memory was definitely, I mean, for me, it's just like when we went to Tulum. Like the whole experience was just out of this world and honestly surreal. Just like everything so that fun. happened on that trip, just I can't believe it happened. And, and that was your first time out of the country, That right? was my first time out of the country. Well, I always forget that I went to, um, on that Caribbean cruise. We are going to talk about that. Also very chaotic. <laughs> Okay, so that was my favorite memory and also like where we have traveled together and we haven't yeah. been I was supposed to go to LA with you but couldn't make it for some <laughs> So we've around. traveled together. Um, I guess like favorite memory has to be the entire uh -huh. Tulum trip as a whole So we traveled to Tulum together and we had there's some <laughs> horrible snowstorm So my birthday is in January <laughs> Um, and we were flying through Canada, which now I don't know why we flew through Montreal just to get back to New York But oh, well, whatever we're probably balling on a budget we choked on a strawberry. It just had, it soaked up all the vodka. Ooh, rough. Back to the story. Um, it's still really good though. <laughs> so our connecting flight was in Montreal and we flew into the airport and they're like, yeah, you're not getting on your flight. So mm -hmm. they booked us a hotel. So technically, 
you were in Mexico and Canada. That's actually true. I forgot about that. So, and we had Domino's in Canada, which oh, was so much better than Domino's here. I wish we could tell the full story of that trip. <laughs> Maybe one day. We'll it, do a Tulum story wait, vlog. Like a full like story. Like should we go full detail? Or a tea. I don't a, know. Maybe what's it called? Like, like a, a tell-all? Yeah. Maybe. There will be no tell-all. Montauk was a great trip too. Yeah. It's like really Labor Day difficult. for Montauk. I feel like year. every trip has just been amazing. There's something like notable from every single time. Yeah, it's hard. Sure. Also, it's hard to pick one memory because every time, like, I just feel like every time we go out together, we have so much fun. We're not here for a long time, but a good time. time. Yeah. All right, moving on because we're gonna like start <laughs> yeah. reminiscing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you yeah, that'd be good. He's too in love. Okay, so if you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Well, I'll like start off with a hint. I'd be considered a weeboo. For the reason why I want to go to the place I want to go to. What's a weeboo? Christian, I mean, I don't know like the exact definition. definition. We'll go here. Yeah. If I could go anywhere, it would definitely be Kyoto, Japan during cherry blossom <gasps> season. But also that's because I've always had like a weird obsession with like comic books or I guess more so like, like Japanese ma culture. Yeah, yeah, manga and then just like Japanese food. And, like my roommate Christian rips on me all the time and calls me a weeboo, which is like I think it's like white people who are obsessed with like Japanese culture, which is me. <laughs> That's you. Yeah. Damn. So Japan. Japan. Well, from manja. Manja, manja. <laughs> yeah. I would go to Italy. Like, yeah. I've been to Italy already, but I think I'd go somewhere like, like Como. I just think it's really pretty and I love pasta and pizza and like mm -hmm. drinking wine and the culture and the people. Like, yeah. I, I think we both love oh. just like sitting and people watching and. Oh my god, yeah. We did Kind of enjoying too. like. I don't know, like enjoying nothing. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a. You know, like the simple things in life, simple which end up being really expensive because, like, if we were to go to Italy, yeah, be, it, it's a luxury to travel for we, sure. We would but, rack up the tab, and it would all be on food. So unfortunately, a family mukbang challenge, a riva dirty. So who takes longer to get ready in the morning? Okay, so that's difficult because her and I are always late. If I'm not late, mm -hmm. she's late, but I will say, I think you probably take more time to get ready because like, probably. look at all this hair. <laughs> I have like, I'm bald. I think my hair just went my <laughs> Sorry. Oh, to answer that question, Me. Jessica. <laughs> I'm going to drink. Okay. All right. Um, so back. might be slightly different angle because yeah. my camera decided to freaking die. <laughs> she left off on Who um, who's the better, better cook. cook. And I guess we came to a consensus that we actually never really cook together. Yeah, so we can't really like. We, we both. I mean, we cook often, so I feel like yeah. we're both like. I feel like you probably cook cooks. more than me. I mean, but you. I feel like you make more like. Like I like making dishes. like lobster. Yeah, and, like, that's what you made the other night. Yeah, it was Christian, so we're good. looking. At, I mean, Christian doesn't it's really so like. Easy. He doesn't like seafood. But I was like, oh my god, that looks amazing. But yeah, I think we're both pretty good when it comes to cooking, just because we love food so much. Yeah. So. We should definitely um, have like a cook off and have someone. We'll really put it to the test. My feelings yeah. might be hurt. Oh yeah, these kind of get hard. Who is more outgoing? Oh you. my god, what? No, easily you. When we so that's like the one thing I, I would tell Christian when I'd come back home after going to events with you. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know how Jess does this like all day, like every day, because. I'm so tired. Like meeting new people is exhausting for me. And like for you, it's like seems to be so easy and effortless for you to strike up a conversation, like keep I can do like, that, yeah. conversing. Whereas for me and I'm like my like five minutes into meeting someone, I know I like don't really click with them. I'm like Yeah, I, I guess just, like we're the type of people to go into detail about this, but I think like we're both outgoing. I am probably better at small talk and like mm. entertaining conversations and Kenzie's better at protecting her energy and like not continuing a conversation Sorry. with someone she doesn't want to talk to. Yeah. What did you just eat? It was this really long strawberry. It was, it, it was kind of a texture thing. <laughs> it, it, oh my it, God. it hit my gag reflex. That was not I'm Sorry. Good. It's okay. It's still, still good. <laughs> Tell us something you got into a fight about, and I know exactly what you're gonna oh say. Oh my god, it was so funny. I was definitely in the wrong, and like I wouldn't even say it was a fight. At least, no, not at all. It was more of like I think what happens in friendships is you feel slighted, in a way, and then you don't mention it, which is totally normal. Like I do that, and like 
I knew I did something wrong. And it wasn't even like that <laughs> bad, but it was just like a total like foul move for not like a foul on like being friend, meaning like best friend. Mm -hmm. It's like we had plans to go out for Halloween and me being in a relationship, I try to like <laughs> really fast forward the event and I was like, okay, let's go, let's go. Like and not really being like present because like all I wanted to do for some reason, I mean, I don't need to say for some reason. I feel like that's what happens when you're in a new relationship. Yeah, it's you just, so normal. You want to be with your boyfriend. It's so, like I like rushed like our event and I like just wanted to stay longer. I was like, oh no, like we don't need to be here. And I was a shitty friend basically, just so I could like go hang out with my boyfriend. <laughs> it's like even like as a whole for people who like maybe have experiences like mm -hmm. i don't think the situation's wrong i think like the communication um yeah i think one reason i was like so angry at kenzie during and that's like the only time i've ever been like upset with yeah. you um because earlier that summer i guess it was like you guys kind of went on a pause like you hit the brakes on yeah. your relationship and i know during that time you're like i'm really gonna like nurture my girlfriends and like my female relationships and then as soon as they got back time. together <laughs> in that moment <laughs> she knew <laughs> she fucked up and yeah. i think like i just wanted to protect you and like what you wanted to stick to yeah. and i was like i sat you down at dinner i was like remember when you said you're gonna like be with your girlfriend yeah it was just like i knew like i made a mistake because it's like I mean, I feel like like all women do that. It's just like you, oh, yeah. you're just like, oh, I want to go like home and see like my boyfriend, and then you like realize that you need to be able to set time mm -hmm. for like your girlfriends too, and like not ditch. Because yeah. like basically, what I did was like I ditched the event. <laughs> like, so then we like went out to dinner, and I was like, I want to say something. <laughs> and like you, I was so scared. I was like, what's she gonna apologize? Like. I, w I was a little like irked by it, like, but I wasn't mad. Yeah, but you couldn't. When I went home, I was like, you know what? If like Jessica did that to me, I would have been pissed. And you handled it yeah. with grace, but like for me, I would have been steaming on it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna say something. And it took a while. I was like, so I just want to apologize for Halloween. I you know I <laughs> ditched you to go hang out with my boyfriend. And then Jessica was like, I didn't think it's funny that <laughs> and you said you wanted to like really focus on your relationship with your girlfriends and like so like we, I called her out yeah she called me out and like it it was something that needed to happen like our relationship was even stronger and like I think yeah. that's like so important to just like you know if you do something wrong admit to it and if you feel slighted let it out and Jessica let it out and let me know <laughs> and I think like in healthy friendships like you should be able to call each other out in a like constructive way instead of like being like I can't believe you called me out you're such a bitch like blah 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 like, yeah, there's, like I like, only say because I love you and like I want yeah, the best for you no, so and there's like, like a way to go about it yeah. and like that's yeah. what's been said <laughs> I mean we can probably end this Q&A even right and yeah so um I think for it's a good introduction. an intro video you guys have learned enough about us um for now if mm -hmm. you guys ever have questions drop it in the comments I think they're going to be below here mm -hmm. Yeah, we hope you enjoy this. If you want to click the subscribe button, like button, whatever the typical outro is, we'd really appreciate that. And you can hit us up on Instagram. Um, we're probably going to put our handle somewhere here. If you want to ask questions, we put our hands up like this. And you our handles. Yes. <laughs> our handle. Chat with us. And yeah, that. Au revoir.